Another thing you want to do is you want to install VMware tools and that's going to give you a couple things. It's going to give you drag and drop and it's going to give you a resize capability. So you can see right here that I'm resizing the desktop and the desktop staying the same which means I have to scroll around. When you have VMware tools installed whenever you resize your desktop's automatically going to fit inside of there which is a pretty nice feature. But most of the people install VMware tools because they want the drag and drop feature and the copy paste feature. And what that means is if you have a file inside of Windows out here, you could drag it into your VMware window and it's going to pop it in there. And vice versa, you could take a file from inside VMware, drag it and go back out to your desktop. So it's a pretty, pretty nice feature. May not be the best for security reasons, but uh, for most people practicing, um, it's pretty nice. So. Let's go in and install VMware tools. Pretty easy. We go up here to VMware, install VMware tools. And what this is going to do, it is going to mount a virtual CD inside of the virtual machine. So you can see here this CD icon and this tar.gz. This is, uh, now don't get scared here if you guys aren't uh, Linux guys. GZ is just another type of zip file, another type of compression. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this file. So copy. And we're going to copy it into our router gods folder and downloads. I'm going to right click paste in there. So we've got this file in there. Now we can right click on this CD icon, e eject it. Don't need it anymore. We've already gotten the file out. Okay, so it's gone now. We're going to right click on this guy and extract here. So it's basically unzipping that file. There we go. Go into the, the VMware tools. And you can see we have a VMware install.pl. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop down to terminal and get to that file. So don't be scared. It's actually pretty easy. So we're going to close that window. Go into, let me resize this here. Go into the bottom left hand corner. Click on that menu icon and click terminal. And I believe on most Linux systems, you should be able to do a control T. Oh, maybe not. Alt T. Apparently not in Linux Mint. Usually control T or alt T gives you the terminal window. Okay, I guess it doesn't work in Linux Mint. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. Click on the menu and click on terminal. And there's our command line terminal. We are now in the router gods folder, so we can list the files by doing an ls. If you want a top-down list, it's ls space dash l, or the long way, I guess you could call it that. And then we're going to go into our downloads file, just change directory, do a capital do for downloads. Oh, not enough letters. Dow, hit tab, it's going to complete you, complete it for you. Hit enter. Ls again, and we're going to go into the VMware Tools dash distribution folder. You can tell it's a folder in Linux Mint because it's blue. So CD VM, hit tab, it's going to complete it. Hit enter. LS-L again. And we got our VMware-install-pl file. Now if we try to run it, you'll see that we get an error. And since that file is in the same folder as we are, you do a dot slash VMware. And it's probably going to bomb out saying we need to be running as a super user. So right now we're running as Joe Blow without uh, specific permissions. So we need to change into God mode, which is su root. Our password is router gods. And now you can see I and that router gods name is in red, which means I'm in super user mode. Red means usually you don't want to be in this mode because you could pretty much do anything. And now when I type in dot slash VMware install dot PL, it's going to let me run it. And here it's pretty easy. I'm just going to hit enter a whole bunch of times. And we keep hitting enter. And enter. And enter. It's 
It's going to copy a bunch of files, do a bunch of installs and make. So what's happening here is it's compiling and making a, a binary for you. It's also modifying a whole bunch of uh, text files. Those of you in CompSci who have had to done C++ programming, this is probably bringing back uh, nightmares. And just keep hit enter. Now you'll get one that says uh, thin print provides driver free printing. I put a no for this one because I don't need printing. Okay, we're done. And so what you want to do here is close out the terminal window and do a restart. Let's check things out. So you'd go to quit, restart. Okay, my Linux Mint has restarted. First, before we check out the drag and drop and the auto resize, let's go up to VM, and then we want to make sure some of our settings are set. So go to VM and settings. Then we're gonna go to options, that second tab right there, and then click on VMware tools. Now we got a couple options, synchronize guest time with host. This is where you want the time inside of the virtual machine to match the time on your desktop. Uh, you could check that if you want. It's not a problem usually. Shared folders. You can have shared folders that will be able to access. So both, both your virtual machine and your host will be able to see it. Now click on guest isolation. What you have here is enable drag and drop, enable copy and paste. Make sure those two things are selected. Click OK. Close out this window inside of VMware. Yeah, I definitely need to kill that uh, floppy disk error, but we'll do that after this video. And now, as you can see, as I resize my virtual machine, my desktop is auto-sizing for me. So that's one of the cool things about uh, VMware tools, installing it. Okay, so in addition to the auto-resize, what we have is drag and drop. We're going to open up our router gods folder, go to downloads, and you can actually kill these VMware tools, the GZ and the folder. Just select it, hit delete. And let's see if we could drag in something. So find something on your desktop and then just drag in to this downloads folder. Looks like it's working. Oh, there you go. And we can drag in to our folder or drag into our virtual machine. We can also drag this out to Windows. Okay, so let's, oh, where's my VM? Okay, let's see if we can drag this out the windows. And move and replace. Yep, it's on my Windows machine right there. Okay, so that was a quick and easy tutorial video on how to install Linux Mint 14 64-bit inside of VMware. Stay tuned for those of you guys who are in my Router Gods classes. We're going to talk about installing GNS3 inside of Linux. Thanks for watching.